So in for review today is the Sony Walkman M505. I picked this up for about $120 and in short I quite like this thing but uh, before I get into too much details about the uh, Walkman let's have a look inside the box. Now nothing too interesting with the box it pretty much looks like every other Sony Walkman box. Its uh, size is quite similar to the Walkman F. One thing to note, it's, it is APTX certified, so people looking for high quality Bluetooth music will be happy with that. Now the contents, you pretty much get your standard documentation, you get a USB cable, you get your noise cancelling earphones, which by the way are actually compatible with the new Sony Xperia Z2. Extension cables for your earphones, a clip mounting bracket so you can clip it to your shirt or whatnot, and of course the Sony Walkman M. So without further ado, let's get into details. Now, in terms of the design for the Sony M505, for the Sony veterans out there, if you probably notice, it kind of looks like the old school mini disc remotes, and you wouldn't be wrong for thinking so because in terms of operations and feel, it's pretty much the same thing. You have a twisting knob up here and a slender metallic body with a few buttons to get you going. Now, it does come with NFC, so you can pair it very easily with Bluetooth. And it charges with USB and you can access the memory via the same method. Now even though it has a plastic plug it isn't actually um, waterproof however I haven't had any problems using this in the rain. Now because it has a very metallic feel I think the build quality is very very solid. The headphone jack is a uh, mounted on a metal bracket and is reminiscent of the new Sony ZX-1 except that it's silver not gold. Now what makes this Walkman so special and in particular for those looking for sound quality is that Sony has actually fitted the S Master MX digital to audio conversion chip or DAC. Now for all of those who don't know that a digital to audio conversion chip actually featured in uh, the older Sony F Walkman and because of that I think this is no ordinary small Bluetooth receiver or music player. Uh, I want to get into the general operations of the unit. Now to turn it on all you have to do is press the play pause button and you're greeted with a, a monotone OLED screen. It's pretty clear. This is actually set on the lower side of brightness and it can actually get pretty bright but overall it's very very visible in direct sunlight. And the operation is very very uh, simple. You have your back key or home key, volume rocker and a hold button. And of course here as I mentioned before you have your access knob so you can change tracks, fast forward, or select different items in the menu. Now unfortunately this Walkman is only available in Japan, so um, the menus are all actually in Japanese. And I personally don't have too much of a problem with the Japanese, but it can be a deal breaker for most. But having said that, the operation is pretty self-explanatory and they're pretty simple. It's not like it's a smart device or anything like that. You have your Bluetooth menus. It's got FM radio. Now it's just telling me that I don't have any headphones plugged in. So you can't actually receive any signals because the headphones acts as the antenna. You have your settings menu and this is your music options and just basically goes through shuffle, repeat mode, how you want it to start, you have your equalizer, you have jazz, unique setting, custom, two custom profiles, uh, heavy mode, uh, pop, jazz of course, 
and custom is very very uh, detailed actually uh, you have five bands you have clear bass as you can see on the left you can change the five bands and of course you have a dynamic uh, volume normalizer and clear phase uh, as I mentioned before it includes uh, noise cancelling earphones so now I've got another pair not the black ones uh, in the box but uh, the ones I've got with my uh, uh, Sony F800 uh, it's the uh, five band equal uh, headphone plug and I've had a try about this it's more or less the same uh, noise cancelling uh, ability if you will and uh, in my experience uh, it more or less uh, cancels out 95% of the uh, sound I had to try this on the plane and um, it worked quite well I had a pretty good nap now the Walkman being NFC enabled means it's very very easy to put pair with your phone I've got here the new Xperia Z2 so let's just go ahead and turn on NFC it's turned on and all we have to do is line up the NFC hotspots I've got Michael Jackson bad so if we press play and it plays you can change your tracks now you can't actually browse your library that you have on your phone your, the music store on your phone only the uh, tracks added to the current playing playlist so you still have to you know do all your main operations on your phone if you want to change tracks or uh, you know albums or whatnot of course with uh, other, like just like other Bluetooth devices um, volume is independent of each other if you use volume on controls on the Walkman all it controls is its internal amp not actually the Bluetooth volume it's pretty loud I generally listen to about volume 12 but this goes all the way to 30 now being that you can connect this to the phone where you can actually receive and uh, hear your calls through this uh, device being a Bluetooth uh, hands-free kit um, when you receive a call you will get uh, the caller ID displayed on the OLED screen and to accept the call all you have to do is just press the play button to decline a call or cancel it all you have to do is press the back button and it will do that there is no speaker output so you do have to have uh, earphones plugged in and you wearing them of course the microphone is actually very very well designed if you notice the texture inside the uh, Sony O is slightly different to this metallic texture here that's because the microphone is actually hidden on the inside of the o-ring and it's actually a uh, like a speaker grill on top of it not actually the metallic texture they've applied here now in terms of music operations so if you've uh, selected bluetooth here you will go into your phone's playlist but if you go up here the first option which says music you're accessing the 16 gigabyte onboard memory and the first option just means whatever's playing whatever's a playing is selected uh, view all songs view your albums uh, by artist uh, by genre and release here and just any playlist you have uh, pre-made and of course you have folder view so very very handy uh, as we press this it just brings up whatever song I have loaded as you can see here you have a small phone picture which means it's uh, currently tethered to my phone I have my, got my equalizer turned on and of course uh, what part of the track you're currently listening to and if you switch that you're listening you can switch to your fast uh, next track or uh, backtrack if you just like the uh, old mini disc remotes if you pull on that tab what this does is you are now selecting next folder or the folder previously so let's take a look back at what we've uh, seen in this review so 
I bought this for about $120. It's a very, very convenient uh, smartphone companion device. Sound quality is quite excellent for what it is. Now, it's not going to replace your full-size digital audio players or larger amps, but it's going to give you better sound quality than your smartphone. And on top of that, it gives you good hands-free uh, capabilities. And if you don't have an Xperia Z2, you can take advantage of the uh, noise-canceling earphones. Now, you know, the menus may be in Japanese, that's because uh, it's only sold in Japan, but I don't think the operations are too complicated or anything like that. You can, you know, learn by trial and error and eventually just get you to the, used to the menus. It does only come in a 16 gigabyte, but I think 16 gigabytes is plenty, for especially for MP3s. It does play FLAC, although Sony doesn't actually uh, list it being officially supporting FLAC. However, having t said that, the uh, FLAC uh, uh, compatibility is a bit hit and miss. It didn't read all my FLACs and only selected some. So in conclusion, is this a uh, must-buy and is it a keeper for me? Well, first of all, it is actually a keeper for me. It's uh, not that inconvenient for me to just pocket it and bring it with me with my, and clip, or clip on a shirt and bring it with my smartphone. And for $120, I'd say being pretty much the ultimate Bluetooth receiver, I'd say it is a very, very good buy. But of course, not everyone values uh, slightly better sound quality than your smartphone. Some people just want that convenience and don't actually need a hands-free Bluetooth uh, kit. So for those people, probably best is to stick with your smartphone. But for those who are looking for something extra, and of course, you have the added bonus of saving your smartphone battery by using this to listen to music instead. So there you have it, the uh, Sony M505. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this review. And don't forget to check out my other reviews and look forward to another one of my videos.